Hello, hello, my name is Steph. If you'd like to come on and have a seat for some symbolic support. Yesterday we scryed the scroll, we dropped the ink, and as promised, we are going to flip it for perspective possibilities, to scry to see what shapes and symbols may stand out and speak to our psyche and psychic senses. As well, we'll add on some tarot or oracle cards. And where Mr. Ghost Gif is here kicking, we have Ghost 2 for any audio additions from the afterlife that may further inspire or add to our adventures. So if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome home. Let's go. All right, all right, all right. So here, okay, Ghost Tube, do you want to like, come, there we go. There we go. Okay, we're going to flip it when you're ready. The original, the OG, will be the first link below. If you'd like to take a moment to close the eyes, cleanse the palate, release the race and the rush. Activating the abstract mind and ancient awareness to perceive and receive symbolic support. In the name and honor of anyone here at any time, may you meet a message with meaning. Okay. Okay. So, of course, please feel well to put below, comment below what you see, sense, or feel always or drop an emoji as I appreciate any interactions with the channel I'm seeing like night vision it's happening at night and I actually greetings feel hello greetings I'm seeing a roof up on the roof when this old world starts getting you down I can't remember the rest so it's like I can hear a conversation and for a moment I'm going to wander into the rabbit hole if I may that I'm young, I'm a child and I have been listening to maybe parents fighting, older siblings, maybe other siblings fighting, maybe there's an apartment building or main floor, second floor, I'm not sure what it is, but there is conversations happening between a floor of that, that would be my roof, the above becomes the below. And I feel a little worrisome about that and maybe this is very reflective of where you might be at because something is cocooning around this vision because I feel as though with this hypnotic night vision day vision vision you know uh like when you're at an optometrist it's like better less better less and they keep putting those slides in front of your eyes better worse better worse better worse that's how I'm looking at something quite specifically Lewis. if it's if it's not in relation to my childhood per se I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna whip in there whether it's for one or a few it's as though it's an actual roof the conversation is happening outside of my roof and I can hear pronunciation not pitter patter footsteps it's pronunciations but it's like you know Charlie Brown I can hear that so I can't hear exactly what's being said or how it's being said but it's like happening right above me and this feels outside, like it's the outside space. It's not necessarily another room where like my parent, this is other kind of frequencies, uh, other energies. They have, if, if you follow that rabbit hole and that aligns with you, whether it's for one, many or a few, they've been watching you grow up, grow up. It's, yes. Because now I'm seeing um, like geese, like fairy tale geese, you know, like Mother Goose, this old woman who lived in a shoe. I'm also seeing a candle with two flickering flames of illumination. So it's almost as if with this night and day vision, you know, like how they have like the blue and the red, or is that even real still? The blue and the red for to watch a 3D movie. please. I feel like I can see some sort of depth about something. Depth. Like I can see depth, but there's a refocusing that's happening, but it happens, I think at nighttime or while I'm sleeping. And it's something ocular ask, but it's like I'm in a hypnotic state to To receive it, to receive like the illumination of it. Does that make sense? I don't know. 
It does. I feel it. I feel it, but I don't know if I'm doing it justice or butchering it. But hopefully you're qualified. You'll you know how to put it together. Of course. I also feel like in these eyes I have like watery eyes. I don't know if this is in relation to the same thing or if I'm slightly stepping out where I because maybe don't cry from here, Argentina. So there might be some sort of crying, releasing of a chemical reaction, or when you get eye drops in your eyes and Purgatory. You know, it makes your eyes look all yellow or makes um anyway, something about that. Releasing through the chemical. Now, the interesting way I'm seeing this is see these beings here, they're kind of like blobbish with these tails to each of these points. These are like puddles. There's two ways I'm going to go through this. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, there's two ways I'm going to go through this. One, when I cry and my tears fall. I want to stay. And they gather. And what it, And they become their own beings of my emotions. So the like externalized energy of my emotions and they can gather together because I'm seeing it like saline, like the, it's like I can taste tears right now and the saline Tunnel. solution of cleansing, like the saline, the salty tears is, is very cleansing. So there's another way I'm going to go through it. I feel like there's some part of me that cries when I think of the situation, this person, place, or thing. Grief, an animal, um, I don't know, something, something. Maybe when I was a child, the hurt, the pain. Okay, there's a third. All right. Um, I'll bring you down with me so you don't have to stare at my contemplations sorry I'm going to stay there for a second because they come out of this and it's like it's going to open open the gates I feel like I've been holding back a little bit I feel like I've been holding back tears which is really cleansing because I'm back to the saline which all unites but it has regards to do with something when I was a child I felt very squished I felt like when I, or even maybe when it's my inner child, I feel squished. I don't know. Like I'm in a crawl space and I'm just, I don't know. It doesn't feel great. Okay. The third way, if I may. What do I do? There are beings that, <clears throat> these could be the same roof be beings. I'm not sure what we do, love. We're all here together and we're figuring it out together. We do not have to do it alone. Could be these roof beings. I'm not really sure. These other beings that are stepping forward, they are, they don't have form, but they do. They can take form. Imagine if like a bunch of body of water comes up and creates a form but it would still have like this <laughs> like I don't know watery form to it not solid in the way that we might be familiar with solid structures and I feel like they're leaving footprints so but this is more of like the invisible space invisible footprints around your house and you know, like sometimes if you even spill water or something, you don't really notice it until you catch a glimpse of lighting a certain way. And you're like, oh my goodness, is there water right there? Like, how did that get there? I feel like they walk through, walk through the home. There's, I don't know, there's just footprints, but they're invisible footprints and I catch glimpses of them. Somebody might feel connected to a water world, a water world. Okay, let's add on some, uh, sorry, some Metatron cards here. Endings, you are held. There's that, that water, very calm water. Because I think this is what I'm creating now. 
especially if I'm reflecting upon feeling smaller squished as a child in this, um, Janice. I can't remember this cubby hole or my inner child, my inner, you know, what? even my inner child flame right now is being reignited, but I'm the one doing that. There's also something about a cover. I'm seeing a cover. I don't know if you're medicated as a child for one reason or another, positive or negative Can you hear influence. It? I have no idea. So something in that cycle is coming to an end because of the tears that I let fall cleanse that cycle and it actually becomes the nurturing the, the nurturing that maybe that child or my inner child needed at that time I'm the one doing it now from here and that feels really like self-responsible admirable and compassionate and it's not necessarily in this anger of well maybe I've moved through it I'll be honest maybe I've moved through it you know, these people were supposed to take care of me or this. Everyone's trying, you know, doing the best they can. And there's some sort of realization where I've just kind of released and I've let go. Like I've even ended, ended that cycle of thinking of who shoulda, woulda, coulda. And from in the here and now to my inner child, to my reflections of this nighttime, daytime, timeline, depth perception of sight. And I'm like, you know what? I, I'm, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry for that and cleanse it out. And maybe something criminal did happen. And you might cry again many, many more times. It's all very cleansing to that child to know, or that inner child concept. But to know that there's someone, if you felt like maybe in that time no one believed in you or cared or over cared and it felt oppressive or suppressive. And you, it's like you are the representation of being what it is that child wanted, needed, and deserved. But you are it. Like, that's it's the most beautiful thing. You are it. And as above, so below heaven and earth. This makes me feel like uh, when I was in the, like, apart, apartment building or the roof, right? The ceiling and the roof. The ceiling becomes... The below is the above, but becomes the below. It becomes It's like seeing all of these structures. Like it no, not that it no longer matters, but wake up call, listen and take note. Because I think you are listening and there's other beings that have been helping, helping you. These, Toy. these blobbish watery creatures. And I'm only calling them blobbish. Because that's the way they seem to come up from one point. Maybe you had a certain toy when you were young as well. That has held some energy. And it's like I can even talk to that toy. Or that plushie that helped you be, get through what you've been through. And releasing. Releasing that toy. Or that stuffy from carrying that night silver warrior of light there's that water again that i'm coming up from i do i do i feel like i don't know if it's just an emotional thing or somebody straight up has an intuitive knowing about maybe these beings something about a water world but this cable do you know what it makes me also feel like uh, some of you might be taking a lot of cleansing baths or utilizing water as a conduit to communicate like a candle candle scrying uh, there is also water scrying destiny Uh, do, you, do you find change around you? Like money, change. I think that's a sign from spirit as a reminder. Somebody from the Under. afterlife. See, this is the thing. It's like it's, it's, if at some point in time, sorry, that's all, folks. If at some point in time something had happened to 
you where it felt like you might have been drowning in emotions or this part of your life uh, was just like a sea of like, I don't sail no more. And if anything tried to sink you, it, it was an age old saying like, or here's the thing, you're from the water world, so you can actually breathe under there. And you have found something. You have found something. Money, metal, coins. They're in all these different shapes. Again, just like water. And it, right, is formless but can be formed. And then there's something about the mind and the mental world and the, and the metal aspect that has form. But you find them in random places. And I feel as though I'm, Inside. if you're here through or an observation in palmistry, it's like, uh, psychometry might be a thing as well. When you find these coins or these photographs or these toys, and I'm keeping it internal first, not necessarily applying it externally. You can feel like where it lights up on your map. It doesn't have to be palmistry, but that's obviously what's being represented. Even in the bottoms of the feet or reflexology in the palmistry. Maybe you're looking at your ancestry or your birth chart, whatever the case is, or the uh, family dynamics, patterns of your own behaviors. And I know, I understand, sorry that I'm rambling on, but this message is what it is. And I'm, I'm okay. I won't apologize for that. You, you can save, revisit. It's, you're n not rewriting history, but you are. You are. It's like shining a new light on it. It's shining a new light on it. And it feels quite beautiful and brilliant. And then I'm seeing like gates open for me when I say that. Gates open. Fragment. Yeah, the, the worst is behind me. There is certainty amongst us. Also, like the, you know, when people like read scalps, maybe getting an indie head massage or a nice scalp massage to kind of ease the mental metal world. And also possibly using like acupressure, acupuncture to ignite water circulation through the body or you know the the essence of water not only its earthly expression but the essence of it within i'm gonna let this pathetic. go <laughs> please don't feel that you're pathetic and not the worst thing i've been called so i'll be good <laughs> all right i will talk to you soon i'm so so grateful for you and i'll see you again tomorrow